don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. No. Do I sound happy? Look, Tony, you promised me the lead, and I am number two on the call sheet once again. No. He's making double the amount I'm making, and I have twice the amount of lines. Have you heard of knocking? <laughs> That's good. You've been shot, okay? Just try and stay with me. I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit. Stay down. It's empty. But in my back pocket. Okay, we gotta slow down this bleeding. Wait, wait, wait. Just give me a second. Something feels off. How old are you? What? Look, we don't have much time here. How old are you? I'm 48. I'm 48 years old. I knew it. Something's not wrong. You knew what? What the hell are you talking about? And you're what? Like a size 18, 20? 10. Sometimes a 12. It depends on the size or the style or the... the... Uh. Hey, look, what the hell does it matter? We have to get out of here. Yeah. You're not going to take off any more clothes, right? Look, I don't know what you're doing here. I'm pretty sure she's supposed to save me. She can barely stand up. Oh no, that's so hot. I think you're losing a lot of blood. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it. We're doing comedy. Oh. Oh. Well, you don't seem quite that fat, but okay, bring on the jokes. You really shouldn't waste your energy talking. That's kind of flat. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed 48. 42, maybe. You could say 42 and people would believe you. Why would I do that? Yeah, you're right. It wouldn't make a difference. How old are you exactly? Me? I'm 47, but I read in my mid-30s. No, you don't. Well, it doesn't matter. It's in my contract that all my love interests are under 32. How the fuck can that be? Well, sweetheart, a combustion engine requires the right... God, shut up! ...air, electricity, and then it's... Ah! hurting so much. Hey, maybe we could go back to the hot chick, see if she's got something for it. Whoa, whoa, hey, I know I said you don't look your age, but... Get on my back. What? On my back, so I can carry you, you idiot. We gotta get out of here. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Giddy up. I'm pretty agile, you know. For a hefty old gal. I'm a bad wreck. Stop talking! It's just that you know, I don't mean to be directing you here. But you're not very funny. That's it. That's it. I, I can't go through with this. Oh, yet. You're not very funny yet. 
Well, let's work something out, some shtick or something. My God, do you always have this many fucking lines? You bet. I'm the guy. Hey, where are you going? You can't just leave me here. I'm the hero of the story. Look, I, I just don't know what to do with you. Do with me? I'm saving your ass and you don't know what to do with me? No, I don't. I mean, are you my buddy or my neighbor? What kind of relationship could a guy like me possibly have with a with someone like you in a story like this? Fucking hopeless. No, no, wait, give me a second. Give me a second. I, I, I got it. Are you Patricia Arquette? Patricia Arquette, am I right? I'm right, aren't I? How the hell could I be Patricia Arquette? I just thought maybe this is like that movie that the guy took 20 years to make in, in The Mother. Patricia Arquette, Boyhood, she won an Oscar for it. Yes, and, and she, she got old and she put on weight, but not like makeup or a fat suit. It, it was totally real, totally method. But it was okay because I could still remember her from her young, hot, true romance days. So, so I, I could make it make sense, you know, in my head. Let me get this straight. So you really and truly have no clue what to do with an average sized woman over 40 in a dramatic leading role. Are you? My mommy? Oh. Or uh, maybe you have a picture of yourself from high school or even your early 20s and you're a little thinner. Or a lot. No, dear. Oh, God. What's happening? I'm finding you kind of real world attractive. We gotta go. Up. Move. You know, I got a three-picture deal over at United. You'd be great for the romantic lead. We'd have great chemistry. I haven't seen a picture of yours since 96. Keep moving. Not today, Red. Not today. Nice work, Leticia. It's Nadine, sir. Daddy! Aw, oh, sweetheart. Hi! Mwah. Nice to see you. I wasn't aware you had a daughter, sir. I don't. So, Red, that was an exciting little game you played there, not to mention expensive. We've lost the whole day. Now we're into overtime. Plus, oh, you shot my number one, and we can't find our number two. Luckily, she's a dime a dozen. You shot me? You know, you could have just kept rolling. There's no change to the story. My way would have brought in more women over 40. You know, the ones with the most control over household budgets, the ones who will actually go and see the movie instead of just illegally downloading it. <laughs> Are you nuts? Do you realize how much money we would lose if we went about putting a bunch of, uh, what are you? Four, four and a half on a good day? At the right angle and with the right filter, she could almost be a five. Oh, that's great, sweetie. Why don't you uh, go take care of the hero over there? Don't move. Not you. Uh, uh, you know what? I got it. I got it. It's okay. Thanks. Uh, uh. Having you and your kind on screen in any significant way would devastate the American economy. Do you realize how many people are employed in the diet and beauty industry alone? No. How many? Fuck if I know. What I do know is that we have no interest in casting women that remind us of our ex-wives. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You get enough of my money, right? Oh, you poor thing. If only you could see me and my kind as something other than disposable seed pods that expire at 35. Maybe you'd save a little money on all those divorces. Hey! 
Really? If you hadn't stolen my script and butchered it with Beardo, the film school dropout, I might even be paying you alimony. Except for the months that you skip and... I am talking! <laughs> you make it so easy. You might outnumber us, but that's why you all are so catty and competitive. You pull a stunt today, blow up social media for a second, and boom, some feminist Latina blogger calls out your white privilege, some hot yoga site points out the health dangers of your obesity, a black film critic rails against how few lines Lawanda has here. Nadine. Nadine. And before you know it, Red, you're the bad guy and your adorable little movement is dead on arrival. Meanwhile, me and the boys, we get to carry on business as usual. This is far from over. Oh, I would say it's over right about here. Hey, LaWanda, you know what to do, right? It's white women, part of a trump. Nadine! You all right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. All right, let's get you cleaned up. Work that limp into your character. Give you some good Oscar potential. Hide the body in a heap somewhere. Not that should be noticed. Tell me the Kevlar bra worked. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, that hurts. <sighs> I'm glad we put that steel plate in. Uh, and really glad for your aim. I've been practicing. Where's the vial? Left pocket. Are you sure this is enough? She said it only takes a drop. That should do four, maybe five. What about the rest? She said she has other plans for them. You gonna be okay here? What are you, my fucking BFF? I'm nobody's BFF, bitch. <laughs> Coming, Mr. Sirs! It's over! But it's not done We both know it's finished mm, Feels like it just begun